Hello there, Virgos. Welcome to your October 2017 tarot reading. So, <clears throat> first of all, the energy that I'm feeling for you guys for this month and moving from now until the, the December time frame, there are a lot of changes that are happening all around you. And um, first of all, I just want to emphasize, you know, you're an earth sign. You're very practical, very pragmatic. And a lot of the times it feels like you're that anchor, you know, in this uh, sea of turbulence. You're always that anchor. You're always sure of where you are, where you're headed, where you need to be. So it's never you that's like the catalyst of change, okay? Things happen to you and around you rather than you going out and exacting change in your life, okay? So I feel like if you're ever in a position where you feel like you have to make a change, it's because changes are already happening around you as that anchor. You feel things. Uh, you feel the vibrations, you know, on, um, underneath you. So I feel like you're ahead of the energy because of that reason. You feel things reverberating and you feel that you need to make a change. And so I'm, I'm seeing a lot of anxious energy. It's like positive changes are happening to you and for you and you already are feeling this and it makes you kind of anxious it makes you a little bit nervous because deep down you know you have a lot of those uh cancerian traits am i worthy am i able to do it am i you know competent enough am i good enough to be able to follow it through so you have a lot of self-doubts and i feel like all of these self-doubts are unwarranted because through your work I feel like your work speaks for itself and other people know how how hard you work, okay? So they're saying here, lots of changes are happening around you and you are positioning yourself to adjust to these new vibrations, to these new changes. I see you adjusting your stance, your demeanor, your appearance, changing your appearance or, you know, um, tweaking your appearance so that you the way you look matches whatever, um, however you want to project yourself. Uh, you're changing your posture. So I feel like it's posturing, posturing for a different position, posturing to negotiate, posturing to kind of like lay down the law of the land if you are dealing with people who might be a little bit combative, okay? Um, I feel a rise in a position for you for the next few months, and I feel that you are going to be getting very positive reception. Whatever you do this month, I feel like it, it's not that it's going to make or break, but I feel like it's very important. It's really, really important. So whatever you do this month, I feel that you need to, you know, dot your I's, cross your T's. You need to be on the up and up. Don't coast. Don't take things for granted. Don't, you know, rest on your laurels, kick back your feet and 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 feel like you can wing it. OK, for those of you Virgo and people with a lot of fire in your chart. If you have fire in your chart, like um, a moon or a rising sign or even a sun in a fire sign. So uh, Sagittarius, Aries or Leo, do not wing it. OK, this is not a month for you to just sit back and be like, I've got this. I'm going to be OK there's a lot of preparation that needs to happen. So I feel like a lot of changes are happening around you and you need to stay on the forefront of that. Um, at work, they mentioned there is a full house. And um, like, as I'm saying that, I feel really drained. It's like so many people around you, so many people that you're dealing with, so many people that demands your attention or that, you know, things that you have to take care of. So I feel like you're doing a lot of damage control in a lot of situations so it's like you're you're never at peace but you know because you're highly productive you like to do damage control you like to fix things and you you're in a really good position because you think fast and you understand things so you are in a very good position to fix situations that have gone awry and so once again other people are bringing you their problems you know, you might like uh, in passing overhear something and you're like, wait a minute, that's not right. And so you have to school them on the right way to do things. And then I'm also seeing because there are so many people, it's such a full house. There's a lot of egos at work. There's a lot of frustration. There's just a lot of 
I'm sensing like annoyances from you, from other people. Like it's like a narrow space. Everyone can't really navigate each other. So it can feel really frustrating. So be patient with that, okay? Um, have a sense of humor. Have a sense of humor. Once again, the, the Virgo in people with a lot of fire in you, you know how to handle it. You know how to have a, a sense of humor. But then like the, the, the Virgo in people with a lot of air, or a lot of water I feel like it might be a little bit difficult for you so be patient okay they say too many people too much energies uh, too much potential for things going wrong and so you take it upon yourself to be extra vigilant to be extra proactive to to do the damage control and it's like, no, let people learn things their way let people progress at their own pace you mind whatever you're doing and let other people you know if there's a mistake they'll get reprimanded if there's a mistake you can step in and you know fix it if you need to just let people learn themselves just you know don't micromanage okay um <clears throat> you know the the thing about too much potential for things going wrong it's once again it's a self-fulfilling prophecy so inject a little bit of optimism and positivity into the work environment and it'll be fine. You know, people are not, I guess, as incompetent. So I feel like they, they need to learn things. They need to, you know, do it their way first and then learn from their mistakes. Okay, so don't assume the worst of yourselves or of other people. Um, the big vibe that I'm getting here with this spread is... Um, there's a lot of family issues that you're going to revisit, but there's going to be a resolution. So what I feel is, you know, um, I, I see you physically like putting your foot down, like stomping, and you're just like, no. And um, I feel like this is, you know, with children, with elderly parents, with people that you consider your family. And what I feel happening is um, you're telling people, this is the way it's going to be. If you don't agree with that, you can move out. You know, things like that. Like very severe types of communication with family. But it's it's very, I feel like it's boundary setting. They might not feel that. They might think that you're just being mean. But that's okay. Because you're setting boundaries. And so I feel like that element is happening. And I also feel like this is the month, honestly, where you are getting the... Um, appreciation from your family members they see what you're doing in the past they've they've seen it but you know they they might see you in a different light and they might have taken it for granted or they might have just you know um they might have just always assumed oh the virgo in person is always going to do that and we're talking about family members here so they might have just assumed that was what you do and they never you know gave it a second thought so this is the month where you're going to be getting the appreciation, you know, like all the work that you've been doing in the past, it, it's going to go notice. It's going to be noticed. It's going to be reciprocated. So I feel like relationships with family members will be harmonized for this month. You're getting a lot of positivity. You're getting a lot of support. You're getting a lot of people finally, finally coming around and seeing all your contributions in the home and they're just it, it's like a major eye-opening moment for your family members you know so I, I feel like that's a beautiful energy um, I'm also sensing as well there will be a lot of important conversations with higher-ups okay bosses supervisors managers and um, I feel like the conversation is not going to end this month. So it's like snippets of conversation here and there dotted all along the landscape of the month of October. It's not going to be over until the end of this year. And every conversation will open your eyes. You know where you stand. You know what people's intentions are. So I see you going into these conversations, these discussions, um, and you're not revealing anything, which is smart. That's a really smart way to do it. So absorb all the information that others are giving you. Try not to say anything. Try not to say, 
but so and so is doing this or you know this other person is doing this or i think so and so is really good or i think this person is really bad do not give any input because i feel it's not like they're 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 setting up a trap for you but i feel like the information that is revealed when it comes to higher ups um they might ask you you know like how would you do things differently and first of all what you should do is acknowledge what is already implemented talk about all the merits of what's being implemented talk about you know what you like about it but don't mention the things that you don't like rather than saying but i don't like this you can say i think this can be done better and explain how it can be done better so diplomacy is really really important and I just feel like the less you reveal, the better it is. The less you reveal of your personal opinions based on your own personal observations about somebody's conduct, about a procedure, a program, or something that you feel you need to, to um, let out of the bag to a supervisor, to a manager, to a higher up, you need to be very candid when you talk, okay? So err on the side of, um, you know, not revealing so much that you kind of wish you hadn't, you know, like come November. So I want you to be very careful about that, okay? It's like office politics. Office politics. Um, okay, so let me just get the last two cards. Let me see if there's anything else coming into the picture. You have a good spread so far, Virgos. Yeah, this is the energy that I'm feeling. This um it's it's more like, you know, can I really trust them? Are they um looking out for me? Are they really, you know, for my greater good? I feel like that's the energy when we're dealing with higher ups, okay? Um so let me go into this spread. The first thing that I mentioned um that I saw earlier was I feel like there are going to be people either moving in or moving out of your household unit. This is a card overall, it's not bad, but it usually indicates to me some shifts, some energy changes, some things that are happening in your housing sector. And this is like the physical dwelling. There might be, you know, people doing excavations, for example, that creates a lot of noise. There might be excessive light pollution. There might be, you know, a piping, some, some type of um, out, outside exterior structure that needs to be looked at or that needs to be unearthed or that needs to be fixed. So if you have like, you know, electricity wiring and things like that, there might be some people like electricians coming by with a crane and they have to fix it. Or if there's plumbing situations, not so much inside the house, but I feel like it's surrounding the house. So there seems to me to be a lot of people, a lot of construction, a lot of excavation, a lot of unearthing around your housing situation. And at the same time, this is a card greatly about, are we happy where we are? Do we need to shift? Is the place really good? Is it near a good school for the kids? Is it safe for the kids to go home at night? Is it safe for us to, you know, walk at night? Or do we need to change location? So I definitely feel many of you are having thoughts here about long-term viability of where you're living and whether or not it's good for you long term whether or not you need to make a move and when is the time for you to make a move so a lot of decisions here regarding the housing the physical dwelling where you are staying i'm also feeling as well if in the past there has been a lot of combativeness combative energies people disagreeing um, they also mentioned earlier with the work thing a very crowded house so you might be thinking about, you know, having additions in your family. So you might have a new child. You might have people living with you. You might have like a, an expanding household. And everyone's getting on each other's nerves because the space is limited. And so you're like constantly in each other's way, in each other's space. And so the first thing that I would advise, and I don't get this for a lot of Virgos, but I do get it for a lot of Leos. So if you have a tendency to be a hoarder, if you have a lot of Leos in your uh, chart, if you have a tendency to hoard, to hang on to things, or even, you know, Virgo rising, Virgo moons who are watching this, if you have a lot of physical stuff 
in your housing environment. It's time to declutter. It's really, really time to let it go. It's really time to clear up the space so you that you can have like clear energy and so that you can also make room for the people. So I feel like there is definitely change in housing environment. People moving in, people moving out, or the space itself feels like it's too small. It feels too claustrophobic. So the first thing is not to get rid of the people because you know they're going to be around, but to get rid of things that you don't need to clear up the space so that energetically you, there's enough space for all the people to fit into this housing environment. Does that make sense? So declutter. Declutter as much as you can. Get rid of things you don't need because I feel like it's a little bit overbearing. Okay, It feels very claustrophobic to me. Um, I mentioned family. This is a card about family reunions, family get together. And it's actually a really positive card because I feel like a bunch of people, family members, friends, and things like that, coming together because of some major, major breakthrough when it comes to career and success. So you have a lot of good things coming into the picture and I feel like it's gonna make you feel really good. However, there's also an element here about family being a little bit of a burden or being a little bit of a financial drain, okay? So I'm feeling that, yes, while all of this celebratory energy is happening, um, I'm also seeing an element of like blending of families, you know, uh, your side of the family and the in-laws and then, you know, all the egos at work, all the people with their their ideas of what you should do because I feel like a lot of the times, I don't know why, and you might agree with this, but for some reason you find yourselves in situations where you attract people who are really powerful and they have a tendency to constantly feel like they can tell you what you should do, you know? And um, I, I feel this for a lot of you guys. And it, it mainly because you're very polite. I, I feel like that's, that's, that's it. You're very polite. You're very well-mannered. You speak very eloquently. And other people see that. And honestly, like they should admire that. They should revere those things about you. But they feel like they need to assert themselves. They need to tell you what to do. They need to tell you things that you're doing wrong. And it's like, that's not the reality. So you have a tendency, and it's, it's not you know anything that you're doing wrong. You have a tendency to attract people that constantly feel the need to tell you what to do. And so I see a lot of egos at work. I just see, you know, this whole thing is screaming out, family, 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 really opinionated family members that can't really see outside of their, themselves. So that's going to be a little bit aggravating, but, you know, you sail through it just fine. So I feel like there's a, going to be a lot of contact with family. And there's also this element as well. You know, like um, a lot of the times, this is a card about generational wealth, okay? Um, but in this spread, I feel like this is overall money that you've, you've, you've built up over time. Uh, things that you've had to do on a consistent, regular basis, such as work. Working from, you know, for, for like 10, 20 years, working for decades, so that you can climb that corporate ladder, so that you can get yourself into a, um, um, a vertical position, like into a higher paying job, into a higher salary scale, working at a situation tirelessly. And this is the month where I definitely feel there is success, but I definitely feel you have some reservations about what am I doing here? I'm not learning anymore. And I also feel like this is the month where all the hard work, all the sacrifices that you've made in order to achieve your financial future, achieve your financial independence, you are starting to think that money is only a means to an end. What am I giving up as a, you know, as, what am I giving up as a result of pursuing money? And I feel many of you are going to be redirecting yourself to possibly do work that is less stressful. If you are tirelessly working, where you actually bring work home or you're constantly working on the weekends, 
this is the month where family, you know, will will start to. I feel like the whole concept of you know what's really important to us, people around us, or the money that we're making that we're hoarding. That's going to come into the picture, and whatever is not viable anymore, you're going to start to see it. It's going to be like a a, um, a blaring, you know, light, and you're you're just not going to be able to deny it anymore. And I'm also sensing as well, um, family possibly needing assistance, family possibly needing help. Um, health, the judgment card is greatly about health, diagnoses, medical prognoses, uh, and things like that. Coming in for like a, um, I'm feeling like coming in like health scares and things like that. I don't feel it's happening to you because with the sun, it indicates a lot of success, but also, you know, um, physical stamina so I don't think that that's the problem but I feel like it might be happening to family members around you okay not to scare you I feel like it's gonna be fine I feel like it might just be a scare but there is an element here about family being a little bit draining on us okay like their expectations their way of constantly telling you what they think you should do even though they're not really living your life even though their life might be very chaotic, very, very messy, and they feel like they can control yours, that element is coming through where it's, it feels very ironic. It feels very laughable that their life is all right, but they feel, and yet they feel like they can tell you, you know, how to live your life. So that's going to be, I feel like, the major source of irritation, okay, from family. Um, the other thing that's coming into the picture, and this was what I was mentioning for you regarding your work situation. Be careful about revealing too much, okay? Um, this is a situation where I feel like there is, it's, it's almost like this. There's mandates, okay? So there are things that we're supposed to do. People, like procedures, protocols that are already in place. And so uh, on the surface, it's like, okay, so if we just follow all these procedures, we'll be fine. But the reality of it is, you know, for example, if you're in a work environment, it's very strict and uh, all the procedures, all the protocols create a lot of blockages, create a lot of bottlenecks, create a lot of inefficiencies in the place that you work. So in reality, yes, all of those things are in place. They're legally, they're binding. But when you actually work and you get in the flow of work, you know what to do. You don't have to follow everything to the T. So I feel like there's an element here about com that's coming in for you guys in your career sector for this, um, this month. You want to be very, very procedurally correct, even though, you know, it's inefficient, even though it, it, um, it can slow down work because somebody's watching. That's what it feels like. And then I'm also feeling as well, if you have a conversation especially if you have are working in an environment, you know, female boss, female supervisor, you want to be very, very careful because um, not that it's a bad person, okay, but this is the energy that I'm feeling here, working with a female boss, female supervisor. Um, it could also be male, so it's not gender specific, but with the moon, it, which, which is a very feminine energy, with this card, it basically means you feel like you're safe telling them everything. You know, they're going to come across as someone who's very approachable, who's very nice, who has this demeanor of like, oh, I really care about you. But I feel, not that they have ulterior motives, but I feel like they're your supervisor, they're not your friend. So it's really important to hold back. It's really important to treat them in a very professional way and it's really important to not cross those boundaries okay because I feel like they make you feel very warm and fuzzy very supportive and very supported and they make you feel like oh you can talk to me about anything and you might be in a position where you reveal a little bit too much so please be careful about that if you have a um, fire sign supervisor, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, I want you to be extra careful when you're dealing with them. Because I feel like what you see is not what you get. And I also feel like um, 
You know, like if you have valid complaints about work, do not reveal anything this month, okay? Because this, there, there's more to the story. They themselves are very constrained about the changes that they can made, make. So if you reveal something, they're not going to be in a position to fix it. And so it's all done for nothing. It's all done for show. It's all done possibly for them to exert power and control in this situation rather than really wanting to help you. So I just want you to please be careful about that. Um, what I'm also feeling is there's a lot of um, just kind of like feeling bored, feeling ineffective, feeling like, where do I go next? You know, what's my next step? Where do I go from here? I'm not, this, this job is not shiny and sparkly and interesting anymore. I want out. I want something new. I want to take a different approach. So if you feel that way with your job, or e even if you feel like financially, it's not cutting it, it's not helping you pay the bills, it's not leading you to a career path. It's okay to do right now, but it's not leading to a career path. I would advise you to try and change gears, you know, get yourself, position yourself so that you can be in a situation where you don't have to handle all that damage control where you're working at a job where you're not financially compensated what you are worth. And I'm also sensing as well, you've been thinking about this. You, you, you know what you're worth. You know how good of a worker you are. You know all the skills, the competencies, the technical expertise that you bring to the table. You've been eyeing, you know, you've been scanning the horizon for other opportunities for quite some time. But this is a card about inaction. Just looking, but not really doing anything about it, okay? So, I feel like this is the month where you're not just going to be looking. You're going to grab opportunities. You're not going to be like this and complacent and inactive anymore. You're going to make a big, big change. And I feel like there might be some confusion around that. I feel like if you have a job right now and you're looking for other opportunities, you're doing it in a very stealthy way under the covers, which is good. Don't inform other people, keep things to yourself, do things, um, I, I wanna say like behind the scenes, you know, you don't need to disclose any information. So I feel like you are positioning yourself to a lot, a, a place where you have a lot more freedom, where you have a lot more power, where you have a lot more control over the work that you do, over the people that you manage, okay? Um, I do see an element as well about missing a relationship partner. This is a card about long distance. Um, not being in contact, physical contact with a relationship partner or feeling like there is a, you know, com a relationship coming back together and then it, it, go it goes away. So it could be long distance, reconnecting with somebody long distance and then they go off and then you go up back to your old life. Um, so that's coming through, but I feel like it's not going to be aggravating or anything like that. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of, um, there's a very strong soulful connection here. Okay. So I'm going to leave it at that. I do feel, you know, lots of changes are happening. You're feeling it and it's not all in your head is actually, you're feeling the vibrations, the, the, the vibrations through the ground, okay? It's permeating every cell of your body and I feel like it's really telling you success is coming. A lot of um, good things, I feel like new beginnings are happening for you. Finances will get better, but I feel that it might not be until, you know, the next four months, okay? And I'm also sensing as well, keep your cards close to your chest. Don't reveal everything just yet, okay? Be smart about this. Be a little bit stealthy about this this time. Um, so Virgos, as I was telling the other signs, I am so, 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 so sorry for the delay with your reading. Um, the past three weeks, I moved to a new job, a new city, and a new house, and the internet is so slow here. So that's why I it takes forever to upload. And um, I was moving, working, learning, and um, I was just constantly sleep deprived for the past three uh, weeks. And I couldn't do these readings when I'm sleep deprived, okay? So I apologize for the lateness with your reading. Um, I'm gonna do your mid-month reading first, okay? So that you guys can 
So just to balance things out a little bit. I know you don't hold grudges, but um, just to balance things out because I enjoy reading for you guys. Um, so I wish you all the best. I'll be uh, back for your mid-month reading and I'll be right back for your love reading. Okay, take care of yourself and uh, don't worry too much this month. Take it easy, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.